Hello everyone, uh, I'm here at Los Angeles International Airport uh, and today I want to talk about ETOP setup, uh, particularly ETOP setup in the flight management computer for pre-flight. Um, so I'll start off by saying where we are in, in the particular setup of this flight. Uh, I haven't done a pre-flight flow or anything like that, but I have completely uh, set up the flight management computer. Uh, let me go ahead and pull that up real quick so that I have it up here so you guys can see it. Alright, so uh, the route's in, weights are in, winds are in, everything that you would typically put into your flight management computer for pre-flight uh, pretty much is in. However, uh, the ETOP setup in the flight management computer is not done and that's what I intend to cover in this video. Alright, so moving along, uh, so right here we have a uh, if you want to watch the FMC, we have the Route 1 legs page up, and you see everything's in. It's going to be United Flight 934 LA to London Heathrow. All right, so that's already put in. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, the Route 2 page, which is brings us to our Route 2 legs page. Okay. All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and put in Los Angeles for our origin and London for our... Uh, arrival airport same as it is on our regular routes page from there we're going to go to the next page which brings us up to this okay so for the purposes of this flight uh, uh, which ETOPS alternate did I pick uh, looks like it's going to be let's see CYYT is going to be the airport uh, so first we're going to put in that we're going to go uh, C and then uh, Yankee Yankee Tango and we're going to enter that onto uh, the R1 so that's the uh, this one here we're going to enter that up on the uh, right side first okay so next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our equal time point so let me go grab the equal time point off the flight plan Alright, so the equal time point is going to be uh, North 5529.1, so North 5529.1, uh, and then West 03610, 03610.4, okay, and we're going to enter that onto the R2, okay. Uh, don't worry about it abbreviating, abbreviating the Latin long. It's still in and in properly. Uh, it'll be on your flight plan correctly right on your route. Uh, and then after that, we're going to put in our uh, exit ETOPS airport, which is going to be Echo India November November, which is Shannon Ireland. Uh, so now that goes into R3. Okay, so now what we have, and I'm going to open this up to try to allow everybody to see a little better uh, what we're trying to get at here so I'm going to open that up so what we end up having is uh, if you notice here there's a um, kind of a light bluish uh, direct route and that basically takes us uh, directly over to uh, CYYT the problem is, is I really don't want that on the flight plan okay so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to enter uh, Los Angeles up at the top to take that away. So KLAX, and we're going to enter that into Route 1, which should give us a discontinuity between the two airports. All right, and voila, there it is. All right, so now, because Shannon Ireland is going to do the same thing, we want to enter in London. Up on, we're going to go over to Route 2 page, and we're going to enter London on the R1 there as well also giving a discontinuity so we have discontinuities between LA and our ETOPS entry airport and we have discontinuity between our ETOPS exit airport and London alright so when we go to the plan page what does all this look like alright so we're gonna go back uh, we're gonna go forward here I'm gonna try to sh show what this looks like excuse me here so let's go back to the route one legs page and I'm just going to page forward here and also let me zoom out a bit. So I'm going to page forward here so we can see what this looks like. 
Uh, you know what? Let me go to the Route 2 page. That makes more sense, actually. So go back to Route Legs 2 page. All right, so here's our ETOPS entry airport right here. Now, there's a direct line going off uh, to the distance, and we see our actual route up here. And this direct line is the direct line between our ETOPS entry airport and the equal time point. When we go to the equal time point, here's your equal time point here on your route and you have the directs going in either direction from there alright so another thing that we like to do is we're gonna go to the route uh, alternates page okay and we're gonna enter these airports into our alternates page so it's gonna be C Y Y T and then E I N N for Shannon. All right, so now we have directs going to Shannon and Y Y T, and we have it labeled. Now notice we have a, uh, I believe this is Long Beach, and I probably would assume L A X is under there as well. I don't, yeah, and that's what because that's what's in the uh, alternate space. So I don't want to see those. So what I do to get rid of that, um, because I just want directs between the two airports, is I just go ahead and enter my uh, ETOS airports twice uh, so that way they just kind of override the other ones and so now I just have directs at all times pointing me towards the, the entry and exit ETOPS airports alright so so for example look here if you'll see and even if we go to the route one legs page it still stays there um, we just don't activate route two we just keep ourselves on route one legs page but you see there's still a direct going direct to Shannon and if you can look right here under there, there's the uh, other airport, and we have that going uh, direct uh, to that airport as well. So it's always going to give you directs uh, between your two airports, and you can always kind of have some situational awareness on where you are. All right, so the next thing that we want to do uh, is put our go to our fix page. And we're going to go to uh, with the with the triple seven. Uh, you're allowed to enter in four different fixes. Uh, so we're going to go to the third page, and we're going to enter in uh, our Utah Century Airport of uh, St. John's. All right. So we got that in, and we're going to enter in our uh, 60 minute ring. So for this case. Uh, 60 minute ring should be 406 nautical miles all right and I I do understand that that's different for different uh, airlines so you have to figure out what you want that to be for yourself uh, but for me it'll be 406 nautical miles and then on the fourth page I'm gonna do the same thing so this is gonna put 60 nautical mile rings around our ETOPS airports our remote alternates all right so enter that in 406 all right so now we should have our rings around the airport so we know when we're entering and when we're exiting ETOPS. So let's see. We go back to uh, the legs page and let's see if we can see those rings uh, around our remote alternates or ETOP airports. So it's Lincoln. So let me step through here. All right, so there's the beginning of our ring right there, but that's not when we're entering. It's actually when we exit on the other side as we head east. Uh, on our route so we get the rackle so this point right here after 5350 north this point right here is where we would enter uh, ETOPS uh, because that's where our ring is and then also you see down here we have St. John's and then there's your direct always pointing towards St. John's and then there's another direct always pointing towards Shannon alright so let's move forward so we can see where the exit is all right, and so here's our ETOPS exit. All right, it comes right here with a ring and, and the uh, route magenta line come together and intersect. And there's your direct to St. John's and there's your direct to Shannon. So we have our ETOPS set up complete with that. So now all you do is just leave yourself on your route, uh, your legs one page, and you'll have yourself set up so you can just continue your flight as normal but because your route legs two pages put in 
you'll have that in there. And notice when we zoom out enough, uh, you start to get your direct put in there, but you have to be zoomed out enough. So as you get closer uh, to your ETOPS uh, area, you'll start to see all those overlays come up. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's, that is the ETOPS setup that I use whenever I'm doing my ETOPS flights. Uh, so I hope this uh, video helps someone out there. Uh, at any rate, uh, I, I, I hope in the next video I'll I'll do the whole gross nav deviation stuff when you get out there and you're getting ready to enter ETOPS uh, in flight and so you have to check all your navigational equipment to make sure that it's working correctly uh, but in any case uh, I'll save that for another video uh, maybe that'll be sort of a part two to this one in any case uh, happy flying see ya